The Ward's Corner area is going to come alive on a great day on September 19th, and Elise Kalfas is going to tell us all about it. How's it going? <laughs> President of the Greater Ward's Corner Area Business Association. That's a mouthful. It certainly is. But you know, it's well <laughs> worth it because it is remarkable what the corners of Granby and Little Creek have done over the last couple of years. And we've got two other people who know exactly what I'm talking about. Teresa Smith, property manager for Bondale Apartments, right there on Little Creek Road, north side, right? West side. West side, north of Little Creek. Right. Okay, cool. And then Michael Pierce, mattress firm. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, and go to sleep. <laughs> and Sounds let you guys talk about it. How's that? Sounds like a great plan. Okay, how's yeah. business? Because you're one of the new businesses that have come in with the revitalization. Yeah, business is great. Uh, we're extremely happy to have a brand new location right on Historic Ward's Corner. Um, and we're equally as excited to be the newest member of the Ward's Corner Business Association. So, um, yeah, we're just really excited about it. Okay, now how long did it take Elise to find you? I believe Elise walked into the store and, and met our store manager named Ricky and... Uh, and didn't take us too long. You were still under construction, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think we may have been. At least I give you gr I give you grief because you you are the spirit of and the fire behind really what's uh, what's happening at Ward's Corner because you've been in the Ward's Corner for a long time. <laughs> yes. Right. When when you first walked on the scene with the Ward's Corner, what did you what, what did you witness? And as a wee little girl. Well, I was there when Ward's Corner was the Times Square of the South. Mm -hmm. My family moved there in August of 1957, so. Now, you left town for a few years. Oh, uh, yeah. I came back town. and settled, and when, it, when you settled, what was Ward's Corner like? Well, it was quite different than it was when I was growing up, but um, there were still, you know, businesses and things. Uh, it was before the revitalization that we have now, and... Um, you know, it was, it was different. It was different. We, we worked for a while. In fact, um, back in around 2005 to 2008, we had three Halloween spooktaculars, the Ward's Corner Halloween Spooktacular. Um, then it kind of went to sleep for a while while we underwent the revitalization. And, um, now it's it's awesome. It's coming alive, and this is going to be our first big event. I know. Teresa, Ward's you, Corner salutes our military. That is so. And when you you know, I know that uh, a day doesn't go by where I'm not in one of the shopping centers because I live right near there too. And it is remarkable the the uh, how many times I see a lot of military people. So it's really drawing that that hub in. So what greater way to appreciate? Uh, you've been Teresa. You've been in the area though for a couple of years, mm -hmm. over a few years. <laughs> 16, you seen some change. 16, did you say? In fact, I am a Norfolk native. I shopped as a kid. I've always lived in Norfolk. This is home. And I've seen from the 60s all the way up till today what Ward's Corner's done. Um, I've been with Bondale Apartments for 16 years, and we've gone through a major re revitalization. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to keep up with everything. But it's, and it's really kind of bringing new people in mm -hmm. to the whole area. So why the Military Appreciation Day? What brought that out? Well, um, you know, we are the world's largest naval base. Mm -hmm. We are surrounded by military, and we, you know, we just felt like all the military does for us, we wanted to salute them. I mean, they're a vital part of, of us, and so we felt like it was the right thing to do. Well, and because of them, we can take so much for granted, mm -hmm. you know, so we can't take them for granted. So how are you going to salute them? Well, um, we have a lot of events planned for that day. Um, we are going to have a, a live radio broadcast for the first couple of hours. We have a stage set up. We have entertainment that will be going on from the entire day. Our program starts from 10 to 7. Uh, we have 20 vendor tents set up. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's one vendor tent, but there'll be 20 vendors. Vendors in it. Yes. Uh, we're going to have a beer garden. Uh, Rite Aid is doing... To so drink responsibly. To drink responsibly. Then we will not be allowing people to overdrink. <laughs> um, Rite Aid is going to be doing flu shots and, and um, that kind of thing. We have clown. We'll have a clown. We have face painters. We have a juggler. Uh, Becky Livest is going to be singing for us. Wow. 
Uh, I don't remember all of the acts that we have. But if you go to, you have a Facebook page though, right? We have a Facebook page. Um, it is Ward's Corner um, Norfolk. Yep, mm -hmm. Ward's Corner Norfolk on Facebook. Yep, on Facebook. And what our Facebook page is set up, the way we're set, we have set it up is um, members of the business association are being featured as the date by in order of the date that they joined and it is wards corner past and present so we're doing a lot of research so you have to come back regularly and we've got pictures of how uh, wards corner was going to how wards corner is now that's cool because it really is one of those areas that conjures up a lot of memories um and i michael i understand there's a mattress involved in this day too yeah, well, there, um, I mean, it, uh, there's a mattress involved there, in everything. Hey, there's a mattress firm. <laughs> there has to be a mattress involved. Um, so we have a, a mattress firm. We have a long history of giving back uh, to the communities that give us so much. And uh, we've decided to donate a mattress to the Ward's Corner Business Association, valued at over, it's a queen size mattress set, over $1,000 uh, value. And it comes with everything you need, delivery, frame, pillows. And uh, it's going to be... We're going to be selling raffle tickets. The association is going to sell raffle tickets, and there's going to be a lucky winner, and all the uh, proceeds are going to go towards the association and helping cool. raise money for to help the community. So, and you deliver it too. Now, yeah. will you set it up? Absolutely. Because I'm yeah. never going to get the feet to come out right yeah. on the frame. Mm -hmm. yeah. We cool. have a lot of. We're going to have a lot of good raffle items. I mean, businesses have donated a lot of things, and we're going to be making some really awesome baskets mm -hmm. to be raffled off that. So day. you got to be there on September nineteenth from ten to seven. Ten to seven, and all kinds of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And there, you know, if you're looking for a new apartment, I'm right down the street. I mean, I, you know, we'll we'll get, hang it all out there, <laughs> and then all they can do is go right down the street, and they got their bed set up. Um, yeah. Moe's is going to be giving out free samples. So is Starbucks, Harris Teeter. Um, they haven't told me what they're going to be giving out, but there'll be free samples. Mm -hmm. Every day we get new things uh, and, signed and up while, for. While we're taping this show, there's a new restaurant that's ramping up. Yes, sir. They'll is. be there called. Your pie. Your pie. So great stuff going on at Ward's Corner, and we want to thank you all for keeping it alive. And I got to say it, thanks for hanging in there and just beating the table all the time to make, uh, make all this happen. My and pleasure. And when we come back, it's a relaxing day at the pool for your dog. Stay tuned.